Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. I know this has uh, been a long week. It's a beautiful Friday. And uh, you know, thanks for coming to spend uh, the last bit of your time here at Avalanche with us. Uh, so I'm Alex McComb. I'm head of product and co-founder here at Snickerdoodle. So what is Snickerdoodle, right? It's a fun name, first off. Everyone's favorite uh, cookie. Uh, but we're a data exchange. What does that mean? Like, we help companies better understand their customers to support their user acquisition and marketing using both Web3 and Web2 data. And then some of our secret sauce is that we preserve privacy throughout the whole process. So you can use user data to improve your business, but you're still aligning with Web3 values that we all you know, know and love and wouldn't be here without. Another really cool thing with us is you know, we're not a middleman. Right? You're not onboarding your users to the platform and giving us their data. Right? We're not aggregating it. Uh, we're not using it. We're not you know, onboarding your users and then you know, onboarding your competitors. Uh, you own the relationship with the audience. Right? There's, not a, there's not a middleman except the protocol. So there's a couple pieces here. Right? You're actually going to see some of these in action uh, in just a moment here from, from Todd. Um, we have our on-chain consent layer. We have our data wallet, and we have our marketing platform. And so what are those? So the first is the marketing platform. This is a, a business application. It helps you to la uh, launch rewards, engage with your users. And when they give you access to their data, you can engage with dashboards that give you insights, again, to support user acquisition and marketing, things like what protocols are active on, what dApps are using, how often they're interacting with uh, different applications, integrating Web 2 and Web 3 data to, to build user profiles, a lot of cool stuff. And then in the future, uh, you're also going to be able to co-monetize with your audience um, through you know, connecting into other brands that might want to access them as well. So, so between the business platform and the individuals, uh, we have our protocol here, right? So this protocol uh, is our consent layer. It records, oh, we good? It records both the compensation being offered uh, by, by the brand to the audience and the specific consent that the audience gives to that brand. You can kind of think about this like you're giving, you know, users are giving the brand uh, like API access into their data, right? You're not giving them a file they can download. You're giving them permission to access your data in the network. I mean, they can use that, for, again, for different applications. You know, right now, what does that mean? It means that you can, uh, you know, better target airdrops uh, based on Web 2 and Web 3 data points. Um, you can engage with you know, anonymous dashboards about your community. And then coming you know, pretty soon, uh, later this year, we're going to have um, you know, decentralized advertising products. So I, I mentioned the marketing platform for businesses to engage with their audience. I mentioned the protocol that actually manages that interaction. But where does the user come in? Right? The user comes in with our data wallet, right? not a crypto wallet, um, a data wallet. Uh, we're actually going to show you two possible form factors for this application. We have a, a Chrome plugin form factor. Kind of think of this similar experience to Honey, maybe. And then we have an iOS app form factor today. Uh, but that, this, uh, the data wallet, this is part of our protocol. It's open source. It can be integrated into a lot of form factors, right? So you could imagine in the future not only being a standalone application, but you could inter uh, integrate it directly into your game if you want users to kind of you know, self-custody their data, own their data, interact with you more seamlessly. It could be integrated, you know, for example, also into the Avalanche core app. Um, but so the data wallet lets you self-custody uh, your data as an individual. So you can onboard your Web3 data by linking different wallets. Um, you can onboard Web2 data by linking different accounts, you know, personal information, demographics. Um, and now you, you own that data. Again, it's not stored on chain. It's not stored by Snickerdoodle. It's self-custody. This means that it's actually being stored on your own device or you can encrypt it client side and store it in a provider that you wish. For example, if you want to back it up, you could back it up in Dropbox and encrypting it client side. So the user is onboarding their data. They're self custodying it. But why? Right? They're doing it to claim rewards. Like these rewards can take uh, you know, different forms. Todd's going to show you a few. These could be uh, you know, utility NFTs that give them access to events or exclusive content. This could actually just be you know, stablecoin um, you know, airdrops or microtransactions. Um, you know, Pretty soon, it could even be Web2 rewards if you want to give them classic things like coupons or, or claim codes. Um, but the important bit is users are managing their own data. Um, they choose what brand can give access to it. When they give you access as a brand, you have an exclusive relationship with that individual. And then now, you know, Web3 companies um, can actually start to uh, you know, be empowered 
by uh, data that Web2 companies take for granted that a lot of us don't uh, currently have access to. So we're gonna do a few things here, right? Uh, Todd's gonna come up and actually run you through a demo of the marketing platform. So he's gonna go from beginning to end. He's gonna launch a campaign, launch a reward that can be claimed by anyone with a data wallet. While we're doing the uh, little switcheroo here, um, if you want to actually pull out your phones, if uh, for any iPhone users, you can scan this QR code, download the mobile data wallet yourself, and at the end of the presentation, Todd's gonna actually you know, put up another code that you can scan for reward. Um, that reward will be, we're gonna be making an NFT here. We're also gonna do, uh, you know, basically a few bucks of AVAX for anyone who wants to scan it and claim it into their wallet. So if you guys wanna set that up, we'll, uh, we'll switch, and then uh, we'll also save some time at the end for questions, so thank you. All right, check. Thanks, Alex. Okay, so yeah, just to reiterate that, if you want some free AVAX, and a free NFT, take a couple more seconds here, scan this QR code, get the mobile app, or if you got your laptop in front of you, you can go to datawallet.snickerdoodle.com. It'll take you to um, the download page for the Chrome extension. You can use either one, but uh, this will allow you, if you're, if you're thinking about using a platform like what we're building and a protocol like what we're building, this will let you go through the user journey yourself uh, live here today. So we're gonna do a live product uh, and protocol demo here. Whether that's a good idea or not, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna do it live, okay. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Snickerdoodle marketing platform. Now, this is just a business layer application on top of the decentralized protocol. It's a traditional SaaS-based product, but really it's just a convenience layer for a business user to interact with uh, the data exchange protocol. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create, we're, we're putting ourselves into the, the digital marketing shoes right now. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, some invitation content. This is what would appear on our decentralized reward marketplace, or if you send out a, a deep link through like a traditional email campaign or like a Discord DM, this would be the content that actually would pop up to the user first. This is like the first touch point um, in your user funnel. So we're gonna create some content. So our headline, don't dox me bro, okay, name, um, AVAX workshop. And we're gonna have a preview live over here on the side what the user's gonna see. So join our live workshop demo to get a free NFT and some wrapped AVAX. Okay, and then add a little thumbnail image to it. We're gonna use the AVAX snickerdoodle logo hugging each other there, create. And then step one is done. Great, so now I've pinned this invitation asset to, right now we're using the IPFS network as our content addressable network. The protocol is agnostic to which uh, content delivery network you use, but we like to use IPFS. So we pin that for you automatically. You don't have to leave the platform to go to another kind of pinning service. We run that behind the scenes for you. Okay, invitation done. Second thing, you need to create a reward. Um, you can bring your own reward. Maybe if you have an engineering team, you've already got a contract deployed on one of the networks that we support. Uh, as of right this second, the networks we support, Ethereum mainnet, Avalanche mainnet, Polygon. Uh, we're gonna have a bunch more coming soon. Um, but you can launch real mainnet rewards uh, right now. So we're gonna do that. First, I've already pre-hooked up a reward hook for the bring your own reward pattern. I've already configured a hook to deliver an end user wrapped AVAX in the amount of 0 0.25 AVAX. It takes a while to do that setting up. Uh, I've done it beforehand because you have to go to Kraken or Coinbase and buy the, the Avalanche first and then wrap it. Not necessarily relevant to the talk, but still fairly straightforward to do. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna use the Easy Mint feature that's built into the platform to launch an ERC721 on the Avalanche C chain. So this is gonna be, the name of this is gonna be um, 
crown of the, what was it, JP? Crown of the Taco Empire? Crown of the Taco Empire in honor of Cinco de Mayo today. Token symbol, taco. All right, description. This is a commemorative NFT in honor of Cinco de Mayo at the Avalanche Summit 2023. External link, we're going to link you to snickerdoodle.com. We're going to deploy it on the Avalanche mainnet. And then let's use our awesome picture here that we posted on Twitter just a few minutes ago. We got it from Midjourney. Property, flavor, taco. All right. Okay, so we're going to create this and it's going to launch it real time, Avalanche mainnet. We're just launching the contract in this step. We're not actually minting the NFTs themselves. So the the conclusion of this is that the NFTs from this collection are going to be generated on demand. So when I get to the very end and I display you a QR code or you click on the offer that we're going to list in the rewards marketplace, um, we generate the rewards on demand. We don't pre-create uh, the collection. Okay, great. So we got that one, we got that one. Next, we need to couple these two rewards with a data price. So we want a user to give us data in return for this NFT and this AVAX. So we call that a survey in our nomenclature. So here's the test run that I did earlier. So I'm going to make a new survey. Um, this is going to be, this survey is going to be for Taco Crown price, description, uh, user shares this info to get NFT. Uh, let's go next. And Taco Crown Empire is what we're attaching to this data price. And I'm just going to ask for basic demographics for this. Our, our mobile app is fresh, fresh on the Apple iStore, and we're having a little bit of technical issues with some of the, the data prices. So I'm going to stick to some simple data prices here. So I'm going to ask for basic demographics. That's all I'm going to ask for for this NFT. Uh, go to next. OK, so that's one reward for one price. And I'm going to add a second reward, which is going to be the wrapped C-Chain AVAX. And for that one, I'm going to ask for um, browser history. I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep it to browser history. The user can choose. If they would like to earn the wrapped AVAX, they have to share the turn on the permissions for browser history. So go next. OK, so I'm going to offer two rewards with my campaign that I'm about to do in the last step. Those are the two rewards the user would earn. And this is the data price to earn the two of them. So if I create that template, successfully created. OK. All right, so here, here's my survey template that I'm going to be able to reference in the last step of my marketing process here. And we're taking it kind of slow here because I'm explaining things. We could have already sped run this thing in, in three minutes and gotten to the punchline. But just to capture it on the video here, last step, we're going to launch the actual data reward campaign itself. So this step is going to launch through our data protocol. It's going to launch a consent registry. This is an on-chain data structure where a user is going to, um, via a stealth address, provide a digital signature uh, denoting their consent to share uh, the requested data for the reward. All right, so let's create this campaign. Next, this is internal information. This part doesn't get shown to the end user, so you can just name it to remember what the, the campaign is running for. So workshop, campaign, description, uh, live, uh, studio, audience, OK? Put a thumbnail next to it to remember what we're doing here. Next. So we are going to do the Taco Crown price survey. Next. OK, this is the last step. 
When you launch your campaign, you can actually set a subscriber limit to limit how much, essentially this is a spending limitation on how much you want to spend on your marketing campaign. I'm going to limit it to 100. We're going to attach our invitation for the workshop that we created in step one. Uh, we're going to make this a publicly accessible campaign so everybody here will be able to claim it. You can also make it a private campaign so that a user has to receive a, a one-time use link with the digital signature attached to it. Um, in the interest of time, we're not going to do that flow today. And then lastly, we're going to ask it to give us a public deep link that we can use in a bunch of different channels. All right, so this is the moment of truth. Let's create this campaign. So what's happening now is the, the, the marketing platform is launching your consent registry for you via the hot wallet infrastructure that's handled for you automatically behind the scenes. It's setting the, the campaign capacity. This is an on-chain parameter. And it's attaching the metadata pointer to your invitation. And it's uh, emitting the query that the user's data wallet will interpret for them automatically to tell them what the reward is, what the reward is and what the price is. OK, so now if we wanted to, we could also list this campaign in the marketplace. Um, I'm going to hold off on that for just a second. But we have a novel stake for rank crypto economic primitive, where business users can actually stake economic value behind relevant categories to their campaign so that users can actually search the decentralized rewards marketplace for rewards that would be interesting to them based on the category. If you want to get higher up the list, you stake more economic value. Uh, so it has some civil resistance built into it while still being entirely permissionless and decentralized. OK, so here we go. Live studio audience. We just created it. We're, we're essentially done now with the configuration step. This is just some uh, uh, aspect ratio. It'll look fine on our, um, on our user end. OK, so let's go to the details here. Details, um, what was generated for us. So here's our deep link. This is our contract address. So this is the consent registry address that a user's data wallet is going to claim the consent token in. This consent token is non-transferable, so they're going to they're gonna claim it in a, in a stealth address. And they can't transfer it to somebody else, because you can't consent for somebody else to share their data. So this, send it out through traditional channels if that's what you want to do. Second thing here. There's an optional TXT record. If you want the data wallet network to trigger invitation pop-ups on a domain that you own, you can throw in a simple TXT record into your Cloudflare or your GoDaddy DNS configurations, and the data wallet will detect this automatically and essentially pop up an advertisement for your campaign on your website. So that's an option as well. Um, and let's do it. Let's do it live here. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to create a QR code. And if you would like, actually, before I do that, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to stake this in the marketplace so everybody here, you can choose whether to claim it through the QR code and try that flow, or you can try to claim it through our decentralized marketplace. So let's update our categories. Um, let's pick a category here. I'm just going to put it under, I'm going to put it under NFT collectibles. OK, so we're going to stake under this category. I would like the top rank. Let that calculate. So it says I could get the top rank if I stake 50,001 uh, doodle tokens. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a little higher than that because I don't want to play the price is right game with someone. So I'm going to go to 60,000. No, I don't have enough points. No, we got to pick a different category. Too expensive for me. Let's go to DeFi. Let's get the top rank in DeFi here. Add target rank one. Great. This one's really cheap. Only one right now. So let's actually do a little extra. Let's do 1,000 points. Confirm. All right, so now we're listing our campaign under the DeFi category. So you're going to be able to see that show up in the, the top featured rewards categories in the marketplace. All right, now let's do it. I'm going to show you now the full onboarding procedure for a user to go from zero to fully onboarded data wallet and claim these rewards. Alex is going to time me to see how long this takes. 
The internet's pretty decent in here. We think it should be less than a minute. It should be less than a minute to onboard end to end. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna take this deep link. I'm going to paste it into my browser here. It's gonna take the user to the uh, Git extension page. Git extension, obviously this is the Chrome extension flow. Mobile, mobile application is similar. Let's add this to Chrome, add extension. Great. Takes me back. Now I have to link I have to link at least one crypto account in order to receive this reward. So I'm going to do a linking step. I'm going to link a brand new wallet that I created for this workshop. I'm going to sign a login message. Now this is generating my decentralized identity for me. This is essentially how I recover my data account when I ins uh, install my data wallet on different devices. And also I want to emphasize, I've just made this account. It has, it has no native AVAX in it to show that the user doesn't have to spend their own funds in order to participate in this protocol. So I'm going to put in some basic demographics. I'm 21 years old, a little older than that. Next. Okay. So now, actually, this next step, uh, uh, one more step. Okay, so this is my permission settings. I'm just going to accept all of them. I trust, I trust myself and the engineering team here, so I'm just going to accept all of them. Go next. And I have now claimed my reward. So what is happening here real time is my data wallet is generating a stealth address just for this campaign. It's relaying the uh, opt-in transaction through an arbitrary gas relay. It doesn't matter what the gas relay is because it's uh, uh, 2771, EIP 2020, 2771 gas relay standard, um, which claims my consent token and gives the business the digital uh, record that this user has consented. I don't know who the, re the, the human is, but I've got consent from them. And then my data wallet is anonymizing the demographics that I just put into the flow. So for instance, my birth date, it's not delivering the birth date, it's delivering in an age range, as an example. So anonymizing this, putting it into a JSON payload, signing it with my stealth address, and then it delivers it to the HTTP callback that was put for me automatically into the survey that I created in the earlier step. Uh, you didn't see that. Uh, callback parameter configured because we handle, handle it for you automatically. And then as soon as I deliver that anonymized data payload, uh, our marketing platform on demand issues the reward. So this is a live demo. Hopefully everything worked 100%. But in a couple of minutes, I should have my Taco Crown NFT and I should see some wrapped AVAX show up in my wallet. And if you participated in this uh, thus far to the browser extension, you'd also have that. But now, if you're on the mobile app, you could do either way. You should be able to see this uh, at this point in the uh, marketplace, which if I continue into the marketplace for the browser extension, we still got seven minutes. We're doing good. Let's skip the tour for now. Let's go over here. Ah, also, if you have the mobile app right now, we have this really cool uh, reward that we launched with Ava Labs, made by a great artist. Um, be sure to claim that uh, to commemorate Avalanche Summit 2023. Here we go. Here's our Ava Workshop uh, campaign that we just launched. You can claim it through the marketplace. Or if you'd like to experience the uh, QR code deep link flow, I'll come here, copy this, throw it into the QR code generator here. And if you want, you can scan that with your camera, click the link, and if you've got the mobile app already, it'll take you straight into the mobile app, pop up the, uh, the reward offer, and you can accept it. If you've linked, uh, your, if you've linked your external account already, 
and you'll receive our Taco Empire NFT that we just created in real time, and you will get uh, a nice little 0.25 AVAX drop into your wallet. So, Alex, how long did the onboarding take before we got to the the acceptance, the reward acceptance? It took about 90 seconds, but I think you had 45 seconds. I was blabbing a lot. So, so it was, that was probably legitimately like a minute. But a minute and a half, even with me blabbing, is not too bad. Ah, sorry. My bad. SD Mobile. Thanks, Alex. All right, take two. If you tried to scan, if you tried to scan the original one, it wouldn't have worked. I forgot the preamble. This this link ought to work. In fact, I'll try it myself with the mobile app. Okay. Yeah, that one worked. There we go. There's your uh, reward. So we did we did two funnel options. We did the decentralized marketplace. We did the mobile-based deep link via QR code, and we did all of this. We did this uh, entire thing. We did it in about 20, 20 minutes, less than twenty minutes, fifteen minutes. So um, users can onboard in about a minute. A marketing team can onboard in about fifteen minutes. And to emphasize, this is a fully permissionless, decentralized data exchange protocol with essentially what we looked at today was just a convenience layer on top of it. Uh, you as a business are not exposed to user PII. And users finally can actually get remunerated directly without a third party, except for the Avalanche Network as the intermediary. They can finally get remunerated directly by their favorite brands that they already use or new brands that they might want to engage with. So with that, we had a successful speed run of the protocol and the product. Uh, you know, we got a couple minutes left. We'll pause and maybe we can do questions. So I'm going to walk down and uh, we can take questions. But while I do a preemptive question, Todd, can you circle back around the house is not doxing users? OK, so the important thing to remember here, why is this not doxing users? Let's go to the data wallet itself. So the important thing is, when a user has a data wallet, we looked at Snickerdoodle's branded data wallet today. But the, our, our form factors, they're just the thin wrapper around our data wallet SDK. OK, so anybody who's already built a client-side application or a killer app can turn that app into a data wallet for the end users and expose all or a subset of the features that it supports. And the important thing in here is that raw data, raw user data, like the digital assets that I own, my NFTs, PO apps, browser history, social media, all this data is custodied. It's actually custodied client-side. It's not stored in a centralized data lake. Like, it's not stored in a snowflake or a Google Cloud storage. It's literally custodied client side. So you are never exposed to user PII. Snickerdoodle Labs is not exposed to PII. We, we're, a, we're a data protocol and a data company. We don't own, we don't own data. Just like, uh, like Uber is a, car, uh, is a, is a ride company, it has, no, it has no cars. We're a data company, has no, has no data. We don't actually own user data. The users own it. Any questions? Everything went great. No one had any trouble. Four bucks. A free four bucks for downloading the mobile app. Yes. In here, I don't know if I missed it, but do you have where you denote the reward for each of them? Or even on here, like what, say, the wrapped AVAX, the amount that you would get for that reward, I don't, I don't seem to see? I might have actually skipped past that. Actually, one thing I do want to show here, slightly related to what you just said, if I go to the details, so first thing, the the campaign that I subscribe to, if I if I as an end user ever get bored with a brand, a particular brand, or like I just don't like them anymore, I can always unsubscribe, and I will not share any more insights with this brand and they can't circumvent my opt opting out. So the opting out is actually burning the opt-in token. So if I go over here to the details, um, 
So these are my reward previews that I made during that very, uh, the second step when I was actually creating like the NFT and I did the wrapped AVAX ahead of time. So this is the reward description here. So if I click into this, this was the reward that I owned, uh, earned. Issues a reward recipient 0.25 wrapped AVAX on mainnet, right? And I just want to show you one other thing related to what you said. Uh, some gamification here. Um, if I go back to the marketplace and choose, for instance, the uh, the Ava Labs reward that's offering that I encourage you to get. There's a price, right? The price is displayed to the user, the data price. And to show you this, like if a user doesn't want to share age range, if I turn that off, like the reward becomes locked, right? If I subscribe, I'm not going to get that reward, but maybe I'll earn another reward that has a lower price at another time. Yep. And, and then actually the, the last thing to maybe leave you with is, Todd, can you flip over to the dashboard? Let's go on. So, we so almost forgot the most important part. Data is going to trickle in as people are, are joining. Um, but like, why is a brand doing this, right? We talk about ads in the future, but today, you know, you're doing this because you want to get data. Now, again, this is going to be probably pretty empty as it's as it's loading in. Um, but again, you're getting data points like location, age, gender, activity across different protocols, right? You know, as many wallets as user has connected, um, right? We're ingesting data from Avalanche, Polygon, Ethereum, Gnosis, BNB, Moonbeam, and Solana. So this one's kind of boring because I didn't ask for Web3 data in this just for simplicity. But you can see in real time, some people in here opted in. You got your heat map of location. Got a couple people from France. Looks like there's a lot of US uh, folks here. And then also you got your demographic breakdown. So you can see male, female breakdown, age range breakdown. You get all of this essentially real time. OK, well, we're getting waved off. I think we're, we're uh, a little bit over time. But if you have any questions, we'll congregate in the back, you know, feel free to come up and, and uh, talk to us. So thanks for coming. Um, enjoy your AVAX, enjoy your NFT, uh, and keep that app live. There'll be more dropping in the, the weeks to come. Thanks, Thank everyone. You.